no. You don't have to ask. Yes. Yes, that was me as a little baby midnight man. I've been on the camera for a while, folks. I gotta thank my family for making these memories that I can now retrieve. Which brings me to saying, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel for another tutorial. I know the normal crowd that watches my channel is not gonna give two hoots about how to record VHS tapes because what are VHS tapes? We've never heard of VHS tapes. What are those? But for those of you who searched up this video and found it, you're probably wondering to yourself, how in the world do I record these old VHS tapes that I made back in like the 1990s. How do I see them on my computer now? Well, there's an easy solution. I'm gonna show you guys that today. Now, the first item you're gonna have to pick up is this Elgato video capture. No, this is not the Elgato game capture. This is a video capture, and it is used to record those old footage from your VHS player tapes. You, you know, you gotta get my flow here. When you get this capture device, it'll come with the red, white, and yellow cables, the RCA cables, as well as a SCART adapter. For most of the old players, out there, you're probably just gonna need the uh, the RCA cables. Make sure you have the VHS tapes on you that you want to record, and then you're gonna need a VHS player. Make sure your VHS player works, because this is what's going to be read so that it can be recorded. Basically, you're gonna be using your computer as a form of just playing the VHS tapes, but you'll have the option to record. Now to put all these components together, let's first start out with the VHS player. You wanna make sure that's plugged into the wall, and then you want to take your red, white, and yellow RCA cables, plug the first three cables into the back of the VHS player, you know, wherever your output would be for the player. And then you're going to want to take the other end of the RCA cables and plug those accordingly into the Elgato video capture. So yellow cable to the yellow cable, red cable to the red cable, white cable to the white cable. Don't mix those up. Two are for right and left audio and the other is for video. Now lastly, take the USB end of the Elgato video capture device and plug that into the USB slot on your computer. All right, awesome. At this point, you got all the hardware cable components connected correctly, plugged into the computer, but now you need a piece of software so that those videos can be recorded. You're gonna have to go to the Elgato video capture website and download the recording software. It's very straightforward, just download the software according to the operating system that you're running. Once you have that complete, go ahead and open the software up. Make sure that the USB is plugged in from the Elgato video capture with all the other things that I just told you in the beginning of the video set up properly. First, you're gonna start out with no signal, but go ahead and power on the VHS player. Then you can put in your VHS tape and you'll see that it will appear on your screen, on the computer, within the software. And this software is just outputting what the VHS player is displaying. So all the controls are on the VHS player for what you want to record. Fast forward and rewind the tape as you see fit for what you're trying to record. If you're trying to record the entire VHS tape on the get started screen, you can set approximately how long the tape is and then set it to record. As long as everything's plugged in correctly, the video and audio components should be working correctly and you can head over to the recording step. Here you can press the red button so that it records whatever is being shown on the VHS player. If you have a time frame set, it'll record up to 10, 15 minutes, whatever that you set. Or you can stop it beforehand, just depending on what you want to record. After that, you'll be able to trim the clip as you please, and then you'll be able to export it easily to your laptop. You can share the file anywhere you want, MP4, it's yours. I'm honestly really happy I did the research to figure out how to record old VHS tapes because I had so many in my family and I just didn't know what was on them. I was young, I don't remember what happened. Some of the videos my grandfather recorded and he didn't even remember what he recorded, so I was able to capture those and actually take to him so that he could see them. Check this out. That's the first time I've seen them. You, you recorded it. I just pulled it. I did. Yeah, that's the movies you made. You should remember those. I don't remember those. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Seeing him watch those old videos honestly made me smile. It was awesome that he could relive some of those memories. He's going on 91 years old, so he is a trooper. Uh, I'm glad I was able to, to show them. He filmed me before I could even try to film myself. But anyways, guys, that's gonna be the end of the tutorial. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit it with a big thumbs up. This is a great piece of equipment. It is a little bit pricey, but if you're serious about getting your old footage back, 
I would do it. Don't get this knockoff cheap stuff. You don't know if the hardware will work with the software that you might get for the computer. You, you don't know. But this is foolproof. It is a little pricey, about $80 or something like that. But it works. It works. All those memories on VHS tapes can be recovered. And no, I was not paid to do this video. If you guys have any questions about what I showed you here today, comment it down below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out. Say hi, Papa. I'm just gonna look, you're not gonna say anything? Hi, Papa. Okay. Now we're getting ready to go. Go trick or treating, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Come on, we're gonna cut through the yard, kid. You hear the drums? Hear the drums. Drums, yeah. yeah. Come on. Watch yourself. Watch that sewer. This way. Okay, <laughs> y'all go. Hurry up, follow mommy. Let's go. It's time to go.